Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 30 of Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, Imperium Universalis, the land of Hannibal, where we are currently <clears throat> looking after the uh, conquest of Hispania that we've just finished. Hispania was well and truly conquered. And now we need to put our men in certain regions so we can uh, deal with the revolts as we slowly... But of course, surely, state everything and get the world under control. Yeah, we've got a lot of revolt risks, so we're going to be doing our best to absolutely destroy them. And slowly, Canite will take over. Now, it would have been easier if we'd have vassalized a lot, but we could have just made our vassals, Keld, uh, sorry, uh, you know, Canite, and got them to do the work for us. I am Rome's only ally. That sucks for you, man, because I ain't going to be your ally for long. Also, it looks like they destroyed Aturia. No, they haven't. Aturia is just... Ah, Aturia's up there. Aturia kept moving, I'm assuming, so... Okay, let's do this. Anything with 50% or more get to go, gets to have a go. Wow, one of the armies looks like it's, yeah, been dealt with. Cool. <sighs> that worked better than I expected. Now, we've also stated quite a bit of uh, Iberia as well, which is going to help us with the slow process of converting it. Um... Do we all not also need to convert an ally? A convert a subject? No, that's uh, that's the land of Alexander. Wrong campaign. Now Sparta's doing a great job of conquering. Macedon, they exist, and they're go they've got me as backup if they need it. Assyria is going ham. Assyria is actually nearly as strong as us. Fucking hell. Sorry about that, guys. Just had a quick sneeze there. Right, um, I don't know what we need to do now. I mean, I've cooked, I've took over Hispania. I guess it's just taking over Africa now. I'm gonna move one of the 30Ks over. You know, I'm gonna upgrade this to 30K as well. Yeah, let's upgrade all of our armies to 30K. And that just means we need to quickly redo our ship. Oh, no. Our navy can do it. I must have built my navy in, in, in anticipation of doing that. Which actually solves a lot of issues. Yeah, conversions are... All the conversions are possible. It's just for how long they take and when we do them. But, of course, we'll be stating slowly but surely. The sooner we state everything, the sooner we get more money, more uh, more manpower limits, and you know, we get to do all the good stuff. Ah, right, so you're allied with this little shit. Uh, well, the Lesbos rebels aren't a problem anymore, so as soon as the army's done there, we'll uh, we'll take them. I'm gonna leave an army I'll leave an uh, I'll leave an army on Cyprus. And we'll uh, get an army ready to take over. Wait. Did it say Nazmanonis or the Garmantuan? Because we need both. Of, we need Garmantuan. Garmantuan. They rule over these guys. Ah, non-autonomously, that's why. I was about to say, why the fuck are they helping them? It's non-autonomous, that makes sense. Well, I'll move an army over here anyway. Right. I don't need to wait for them to get there, so I'm just going to do this war. We'll take out Massalia next. Give a lot of it to Kartana. Actually, wait. The Kartana doesn't like me, do they? No, Kartana gets nothing. We take it all ourselves. As soon as I realized Kartana was not a... Uh... 
I, as soon as I realized I was supporting the loyalists, it's like, ah, oh, that's probably going to be a fucking wasted investment. Like, giving them land, they'll just hate me more, and them hating me is, an, is effort. Okay, we need a leader. Okay, so... Oh shit, I didn't realize it was you, you as well. Oh, well, cool. Oh my god, I can take that. I'm gonna take. Oh my god, that's so expensive. Oh no, the. the no, Berber traditions are so expensive. I have an idea. I can't vassalize you. I can vassalize this little shit, though. All your cores are on me, though, so that's a problem. You know what? I'm just gonna very quickly do this war. So I'm gonna vassalize these guys. And then I'm gonna split the territory between these and them. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a smirt move. A smirt move. Also, we need to get our, all of our roads done. I was being very anal about the roads uh, previously, so let's make sure I finish off what I was doing. And we have the money to get the ma vast majority done. Bye-bye temple. It may be a great temple, but it's not as good as a fucking road. Uh, we can get there. There we go. That's all of our money spent on roads. You know, their army will be found. It's not a problem. We don't have to worry about that. So I've got a navy, so I may as well just stop them getting over there. I don't know where they're going, but I feel like I should be chasing them. Just to make life a little bit simpler. These motherfuckers are walking away very quickly from me. Come on, four maneuver, you can do it. Come on, we're nearly there. There we go. It's a fucking slow process, but we got there. Slow process indeed, but we we figured it out. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna make this guy our vassal. Once they're our vassal, we'll uh, use them to eat up the rest of this territory because they should be a lot easier to look after. They're also Canite, which means we can immediately start converting their territory instead of, you know, converting Iberia again. Which, to be fair, I only do because it's better to have land over here, ha half here. Okay, sorry, I was just looking at my uh, rotor there. Oh, oh my god, you sieging shit. I like. I want. I like. Oh my god, you siege so. Qu Why do you siege so quickly? People of the desert, tell me your glorious tales of sieging so quickly. You don't give a fuck yet. God, what a, what a bastard. Why can't you just give a fuck and make my life much easier? Surprisingly un uncaring, which is good.
don't believe I can force them into this war, so I may have to take the territory and then give it to them. They do have a core on one of them, so I could uh, return core and then just take the rest. You know what, that's what we'll do for now. Oh, I can't force them to give up the last province. Well, I'll just annex them then. I will, as a gesture of good faith, give... You... Demide. My newly minted vassal. I'd rather I I I I must admit I'd much rather play dip uh play uh, pay diplo than pay anything else for, like pay than pay admin for this shit. And we'll already start slowly converting them. Let's pick up a couple more revolts. You know, make sure we can get them done. Make sure they just we're keeping Iberia pacified to the degree to the degree where we know we're not having a problem. go. But yeah, we'll convert Massalia, and then we'll use Massalia to conquer these little shits over here. Africa is expensive. Yeah, they haven't stated all their regions either, which you know makes it a little bit more of a pain, but we'll non-autonomous, we'll half autonomous them in no time. So I'm going to get ready to go take out these guys as well, Gamanton. Libya will help them. Well, I guess that just means more land for Tripolitania. Because, oh my god, Israel. What is it between Israel and Judah just conquering fucking Egypt? Like, I'm not against it, but at the same time, can you fucking stop? <laughs> So I think I should be able to just fire all these rebellions without any issue. I think that'll do for now. Like that just doesn't seem to help the revolt risk at all. Like they just seem to get more stay pissy. Yeah, unfortunately that one was gonna succeed, which is a shame. Which is a bit too far away for me to get to in time. Okay. Who's next? My next door? Perfect. Um, let's make sure we're getting... Again, make sure we get our vassals converted first. Once they're converted, we can freely do what we... You know, we can worry about our own land. Gonna assume that's gonna yeah, that's where you are. Okay. That's fine. They'll be dealt with of their own accord. Not a problem. Okay, so you just don't really there's not really any real issues over here now. Let's say you should go there and you should go there. We'll see what we can dick figure out then. Oh, they're at 40% now, so I can't force them anyway. Okay, we'll take over this for Tripletania then. Um, uh, what region are you part of? Glorious lands here. You are all part of the same region, which means I need to take you over. Well, fair enough. <sighs> Bunch of effort, but okay. I'm feeling aggressive today, so I'll do it. I feel like Triple Tina's is like, we've, we finally haven't had issues for like years upon years. Why are you giving us land? Stop it. We don't want issues. Uh, poor Triple Tina. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes. I 
I mean, they should look really nice, though. Yeah, anything that's Libya, we'll give to the... Oh, God. Libya goes quite deep. So I guess Total Platinia is going to be going very deep into the... Uh, into the, it, They're going to be going very deep uh, in there. Which kind of just makes this more amusing because it means I'm well more annoying because I'm gonna have to protect all of it. But so far, that much we know is the, oh god, yeah, we're not gonna be able to take as much as we'd think. We also have to remember Libya's in this war. This province here, where let's clear this. So it costs 11 war score if I give it to Tripolitania. It costs 10 if I give it myself. It's, it's fine. Fuck it. We'll take the land directly and then we'll just give it to them after the war. That seems to be smarter. So yeah, that's what we'll do. I don't know if I want to give them Libya as well, like land in like, from land like from Libya themselves, because while we should, you know, because you know it makes sense for land to take, take the land, but it's just whether or not we've got the uh, whether or not we've got the resources to take it and you know keep it occupied. The best we can do is try and just see what happens. Worst comes to worst, we know it's a proper ball lake to look after, but. I don't foresee too big of an issue. It's always a good idea to get roads over here while uh, it's not revolting. Make it easier for us to run across the land and kill rebellions. Okay, let's focus specifically on their on their revolt risk. I don't care where it is, just we're gonna focus on getting rid of it. Our revolt risk, sorry, our conversions. We're just gonna focus it down. I mean, it helps that we have the manpower to defeat, like, sorry, the amount of men to just keep our own rebels ish, uh, uh, like down. But we don't. Obviously, we have got the amount of men to do it over here. But I'd rather my vassals were peaceful and you know, not an issue for me. That's what we can take directly, which is fine. But uh, I'm also going to take some land from Livia. Simply because I can. Well, all of that is considered Libya, so I guess we'll go all the way to the end. That's going to be expensive, but it's not me coring it. I'm just going to be converting it for my vassal. I'm really screwing over Triple Atenia, but they don't need to have good tech like I do. As you can see, they are drastically behind. All they have to do is core it, and once it's cored, they don't have to do anything else. Like, I don't expect them to fight wars. I expect them to just do as they're fucking told and give me and core my land for me. Like Lucania, which we are going to annex soon enough because we don't... I feel like it would look better if I had the land. Well, Libya doesn't want to give up just yet, which is fine. So how much are we taking? So, oh god, we're taking like a thousand... Yeah, we're taking a lot of, uh, a, a lot of admin. They've got all their cores, though, so that's, you know, that's good. It just It means they're ready for, you know, more cores. At least that's the way I see it. These are ready for more land. So let's be a bro and let's give them more land to conquer, to, uh, you know, have. I mean, if anything, I'm a great guy for doing this for them. And we're going to extend this part a little bit just so I can get this war finished. Well, 
we'll extend this part up to 25 minutes just to try and make sure we can get it done. To be fair, Olivia, I don't need that or that. Like, if you'll just give me that, I'll peace out. But for some reason, you won't even do that. Yeah, Olivia, you're being very awkward about your piece. Like, I've beaten you. Well and truly. You just, you know, you, you even you know that. You just don't seem to want to give up. Now, like, don't get me wrong. I appreciate, like, the want to keep fighting. You're an idiot, but I understand the, I understand the want to do so. I would just also appreciate if you just gave the fuck up. There we go. You'll live up there now, which is technically owned by me. And triple tenure. Novum Centaurum. Go. Uh, that one. God, so many fucking little provinces. I wish I could just click on the map and it would take the provinces I click on. This is going to be a lot of coring for them. However, it'll be funny. And that is what we go for. That's, uh, that one. And like that, I had no territory to conquer. Okay. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we're unfortunately going to have to end this part here. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys enjoyed, please do follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, join the Discord, all the links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys then.